Hi, this is Dodger, and you're watching my show. <laughs> Damn, got a little carried away. Three, two, one, ready, go. Gee, Dodger, do you think maybe you have too many fox scarves? How? dare you just because i have this same scarf in like four different colors doesn't mean that i have a problem but guys in all seriousness thank you so much for the feedback on anime news i was so excited to look at the comments and see so many people being like yes we want this this is awesome um because it's a show that i wanted to do for a while so delighted our first piece of news i gotta be honest is kind of for aaron because she just loves Kuroko no Basuke with all of her sweet little heart. It turns out that Kuroko no Basuke is uh, doing a weird crossover thing with the NBA. Now, Japan really loves crossovers. They love them, love, love, love. Normally it'll be like this anime and this game crossover or these two animes crossover, that kind of a thing. But this time, because the new Kuroko no Basuke movie is coming out, we got uh, all of the different Kuroko characters showing up on different NBA teams. So far we have Kagami as part of the Chicago Bulls, and we have Midorima as a member of the Celtics. If I were to wager a guess, I would say that everybody else is gonna be on teams that correspond to their hair color, because that's a theme in the anime. So if you guys have any guesses about what NBA teams all of the other characters could potentially be on, you should leave your guesses in the comment section. See, some of these articles are saying that there are items that are gonna be sold corresponding to this. And look, I'm just saying, if they're gonna put out like Kuroko figurines and the figurines are based off of these illustrations, that would be hilarious. But I think maybe they're just selling these as posters. Kuroko no Basuke Last Game is the name of the movie and it will be coming out on March 18th. And uh, it seems like they're going to be releasing these illustrations up until the point that the movie comes out. So I bet we got a lot to look forward to. That's all I'm saying. Ooh. There's some music bumping outside. This next topic I think is gonna be a little bit shorter but sometimes I ramble and then it was really pointless for me to even start off by saying, this is gonna be a short time. Anyways, so there's going to be another movie on the topic of movies, a live action version of the anime Gintama. It's supposed to be coming out this summer and there's a trailer out and there's all kinds of promotional images out. And I just wanna say, they look bang on. Like. They look exactly like the characters and it's super weirding me out because we've seen a lot of, you know, live action versions of anime before, whether or not you've actually sat down to watch the movies because typically they're terrible. Um, at the very least, you know, you've taken the time to, to see some of the screenshots in passing probably. And you know, most of the time you look at them and you're like, eh, it's okay, that's all, that's all right especially for something so high concept, right? With like very specific visuals. Holy moly, this Gintama stuff is like next level. Gintama, for those of you who don't know, is a very long running spoof anime that's been going forever. Um, I think that this most recent season is supposed to be the last season, but who knows? Again, it's a spoof anime, so you can't trust anything those people say, but it's very, very funny. And like I said, it's been around forever. Um, if you're somebody who watches a lot of anime, I think that you would get a kick out of it because it makes fun of all different genres of anime, all different kinds of things. Every now and then, every now and then there's a joke in there that is specifically Japan. <laughs> it's like a current events Japan joke and you're like, oh, I do not understand that. But overall, it's a very, very enjoyable anime and I'm interested to see how it translates into a live action like spoof movie with for reals people. But regardless of whether or not it actually winds up being funny or or a good like transition piece, right? Everybody looks amazing in it. They all look freaking amazing. So I'm, st I'm still gonna watch it. For any of you big Dragon Ball fans out there, you might be delighted to know that Nozawa Masako, who is the voice actress for Goku, has won two Guinness Awards. It's been made pretty clear over the years that if she were to ever pass away, she is, she's like, she's a decently old lady now. 
if she were to ever pass away, they would just never have anybody else play Goku. Like she is Goku to Japan, right? She's very beloved. She's got so much energy and spunk and I love her. But she won two Guinness World Records, oddly enough, uh, for video games. She broke two records, one for longest time serving as the same video game character, and the second one for longest time serving as a video game actor. Her record is 23 years and 218 days. So I would say that's pretty impressive. <laughs> the very first game that she was in was Dragon Ball Super Budoten, which came out in 1993 for the SNES. So she's been like, banging on this for a while. So I mean, she deserves it, man. She's great. And it's really precious because I guess the guy who um, does the current Dragon Ball Super theme is like a really big fan of hers and he got to announce it at the awards ceremony and they were both just like, oh, we're so happy. Like she was like, it's the happiest day of my life. And he was like, I love her so much. <laughs> It's just like, yay! So that's some really sweet, precious news. And in Goku's voice at the award ceremony, she said, I'm gonna be around for a long time. I'm gonna be around for years yet, maybe a hundred. So to Nozawa Masako from all of us, congratulations, you deserve it. And now taking a sharp left turn into why is this happening? Uh, the Berserk anime is getting a second season. I've, okay, look, some of you are gonna be in the comment section and say, you know what, I stuck with it and it's fine and that's fine. But I've given that show so many tries and it is unwatchable for me. And I know a lot of people who feel the same. So I'm actually really, really surprised that it's getting a second season. And I'll be completely honest, I don't know what all of the variables are in terms of deciding whether or not a show should be continued. Um, but you know, in, in sort of like a false equivalency sort of way, in my mind, I'm like, but that other show sh deserves to have a second season way more than Berserk, so, so, so screw that. Which again, I realize doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, the continuation will kick off the programming block in April. So originally people were saying, oh, it's gonna come out sometime in 2017 and we don't really know when, and now we know it's, it's just, it's right around the corner. And if you've loved this season of Berserk and you've thought that it was actually really well done, um, that's fine, and I'm not, I'm not like trying to shame your preferences or trying to make you feel like, like it's a garbage anime that nobody should love. But with the response to it being as negative as it's been, I'm just shocked. My phone's ringing. I bet my pizzah is here. I don't remember exactly what point I was trying to make at the time that my butt started buzzing, but, <laughs> uh, yes. More Berserk, if you've been wanting that. And if you've never seen Berserk, I would say uh, watch the movies, because I think, I think they're better. This next topic is coming to you from a deep, deep nostalgic place. The part of me that when I was mm, mid-teens, really loved Sayuki. I feel like a lot of people don't remember Sayuki for the most part, or, or just never really watched it, but I was, I was really into it for a while. Um, apparently they're making a new anime for it. They're doing it in sort of the same way that Slayers did. Another one that is super nostalgic for me. Uh, where they're just kind of adding on to the anime that already exists. It's called Sayuki Reload Blast, which is also what the most recent manga is called. And for the most part, again, I think because they want there to be kind of a, a cohesive look, um, they're, they're very much sticking to the designs and the way that the older anime looked while just kind of slightly upgrading the graphics. Part of me really wanted to watch this trailer and be like, oh my God, they look like, they look so current, you know? Um, that, that seemed like a, a fun thing for me, but I totally understand them saying, no, 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 no. We want them to still look like they're old designs. Like we're not gonna change the way they look. But yeah, they've got a trailer that you can watch that uh, doesn't really show their faces very much. It's very action heavy. Very, very sweet, sweepy action, you know? Uh, but Sayuki, I think is fantastic. Um, they're re-releasing pretty much all of the anime in preparation for a Sayuki Reload Blast. Um, I assume that that's specifically in Japan, but that also means that it'll be a little bit easier for us to snag it if you've never watched Sayuki and you would like to. That I think was one of those uh, shows that I got fan subs of like on VHS tapes. God, one day I need to make a video about that. I need to make a video about that period of the internet that is just lost to time. Oh, now I'm deep, now I'm deep in the nostalgia pit. 
Need to crawl out. Need to crawl out. Need to crawl out. Next thing. Oh, yes. Sorry. As a as a final little bit, um, they also have the full like cast list and everything like that. So if you're interested in reading that kind of a thing, I will also link that to you. As a final bit of news, the news that I have been the most excited to talk about because it's just so silly. Um, any of you who know what Sanrio Danchi is. It's getting an anime. Now, for those of you who are like me that did not know what Sanrio Danchi is, um, Sanrio Danchi translates to Sanrio Boys. Sanrio being the company that makes Hello Kitty and all of those adorable goodness characters. Sanrio Danchi is a multimedia project about super hot boys that are really into Sanrio characters. So each of the different boys corresponds to a different, uh, one of the like adorable animals that is their favorite. Um, there's a, there's a mobile game, there's all kinds of stuff, and the most recent thing <laughs> they're adding to their repertoire is an anime. I'm hoping it's basically gonna be like the Pillow Boys anime, where it's just like really, really short, and <laughs> every single one of them is just the boy talking about what they love about Sanrio. Wouldn't that just be the most amazing marketing ever? But apparently, actually, if, if you like do some research into it, apparently, um, the, the app was a dating sim app, right? You played a girl and all of the different Sunreal boys are like trying to get with you. But in this anime, apparently they want to focus cause they, they know, they know exactly who's going to be watching this. They want, uh, it to focus on all of the different boys relationships with one another and how, how they all connected through Sanrio. It's gonna be very silly and probably super adorable. Just based on like the character designs and everything else, um, looking into the game and just, I love it. It's apparently like a big weird thing in Japan right now. So I'm delighted that we're gonna get a little nugget of that. You know, that it's, that it's gonna just invade our world just a smidge. And I would not be surprised if Sanrio Danchi has gotten a whole different demographic of people into Sanrio. So if you're a fan of cute boys or if you're a fan of Sanrio, uh, those two things are gonna do this for us in anime form. It's gotta be a short form though, right? Like it can't be, this can't be a long form anime. I refuse. <laughs> Anywho, that's been my show. Thank you so much for watching. If you have a positive or a negative response, feel free to leave it in my comment section. And if you would like to watch my streams, you can find them at twitch.tv slash dexbonus. I keep almost saying dexterity bonus, but that's wrong. Um, as a reminder, uh, oh shoot. As a reminder, we've got our awkward animals giveaway going on this week. I will also link that in the description. First ticket is totally free. And if you're somebody who watches a lot of the streams, then you'll be able to buy a few more tickets with your kind of like fake Twitch currency that you get from watching my streams. But um, yeah, the giveaway is, is for little stuffed animals called awkward animals that teach kids it's okay to be awkward sometimes. They have lots of different animals. The giveaway is set up so that you get to say which animal you would like and then they'll send it to you. So if you're interested in that, please, please, please take part. And otherwise, uh, I hope that you have a great rest of your week and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ha <laughs>